Hey everyone, welcome back to the series. Uh, this week I will be spotlighting one of my favorite animated series, The Venture Brothers. For those of you unfamiliar with the show, it was an animated series that ran on Adult Swim. It began in 2003, and 20 years later, it just wrapped up with a finale, a film released in July of 2023. The film, titled The Venture Brothers, Radiant is the Blood of the Baboon Heart, just premiered in July of 2023. And the series had been canceled as of 2020, but Adult Swim allowed them to come back and sort of wrap up the whole series with this finale of a film. And not going to review the series or the film, but I will say it's a very satisfying conclusion, and it's... It's awesome to, that these creators got the chance to sort of wrap up as much of their vision as possible. And I think a nod has to go to Adult Swim and the execs there for allowing them to do this because in this day and age, shows get canceled left and right and rarely do creators get an opportunity to wrap it up. So it's very commendable, nods to all, uh, fantastic film, great series, and uh, yeah, please check it out. If you've never, if you lived in a cave and you've never seen The Venture Brothers, please go check it out. It is worth the time. One of the main things I love about this show is the continuity aspect. Um, Jackson Public and Doc Hammer, the co-creators, really imbue the show with um, a sense of reality from the standpoint of these characters grow. So it's not just like a traditional cartoon where every episode, everything's kind of the same. These characters are growing, they're evolving, people die. It does affect, there's a, a cause and effect with everything that's going on in the world. And, you know, they just continue to world build at a scale that's incredible. So, you know, it starts small and then just kind of becomes this massive thing by season seven. And you just don't see that a whole lot in animation. Additionally, even if you're not familiar with the show, they released an incredible art book several years ago detailing seasons one through six, and it's, it's incredible. It's filled with amazing behind-the-scenes art. So if you just love art books in general, this is one to pick up. It's got everything from Jackson Public's original pitch deck for the series to behind-the-scenes artwork, commentary, backgrounds, character art. It's, it's a phenomenal tome and uh, I highly recommend checking that book out. So setting out on this painting, I really only had a few things in mind and I kind of wanted to capture the family, the core family of uh, their father, Rusty Venture, their bodyguard, Brock, Hank and Dean Venture, the brothers, and their loyal helper. So that core family of five, I thought it would be kind of fun to maybe have them in some sort of uh, dysfunctional family car ride together and out enjoying, uh, you know, Brock standing on the hood of his charger, firing a minigun. I, that just sort of came out as, uh, as I was painting this. So that's, I mean, that's really it. I'm free flowing in these paintings. And I will say beyond that, as some Eagle Eye viewers have spotted, some have actually uh, asked me about this. Um, back here on my wall, I do have a print, a very limited edition print that Adult Swim put out. They only made a hundred of these. And it is the DVD cover art, phenomenal DVD cover art by a legendary comic artist, Bill Sinkovich. For me, this was kind of the gold standard, I guess, of what I was trying to encapsulate in something I was illustrating. If you're not familiar with Bill Sinkovich, check out his work. I mean, this is a phenomenal place to start, but he's got a long history of work he's created. And I highly recommend checking out his site. So that does it for this week's episode. I really hope you enjoyed the painting. Uh, if you're a fan of the show, please let me know in the comments what you liked or if there's a singular moment or character that defines it for you. So thanks again and hope to see you next week. Cheers.